um, so now we have an operation and we say, hey, we got an equal sign, right? Before, last night's homework, there was no equal signs. I just said expand, I said condense. That's it. Expand, condense, expand, condense, expand, condense. Now we have an equal sign. So make sure, ladies and gentlemen, when your when uh, question includes an equal sign, make sure your answer includes an equal sign as well. All right? So now what we're going to be looking for in this case is um, now we have ln of x minus ln of 5. So we need to make sure we can apply our properties of logarithms. And we know when we have ln of x minus ln of 5, Sarah, do you remember how we can rewrite that as one single logarithm? Hold on, hold on. Just give her time to at least think. If you get stuck, then we'll just go on to somebody else. But do you remember how to rewrite that? You could, yeah, we could go and do it that way. That's not a problem. Fine. So you could add it, ln of 5. So you could add ln of 5 to both sides. So therefore, we have ln of x equals ln of 5. Now, what did you know when you have lns equal to each other on both sides with the exact same base? Right, then you know now that they're equal to each other, x equals 5. Yes, Ashley? Does that make sense? All right. The other way you could also do that, though, just to make sure, you could also rewrite this as a division of ln of x minus 5 equals 0. And the reason why I just want to present it to you guys both ways is because how would you solve something from here? What is, if you wanted to solve this, Another way that we can do is always, if you can't solve it in logarithmic form or maybe exponential form, try converting it to the other form. So right now, this is in logarithmic form. You could also rewrite this in exponential form. So to rewrite this in exponential form, I had to have e to the 0 equals x over 5. e to the 0 is 1 equals x over 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5 x equals 5. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, with properties of exponents, you're probably going to have multiple ways to go through it. Sarah, you're, I didn't even pop that on the top of my head when I first looked at the problem, so that's great. There's no difference if you solve it that way and a dart solves it the second way. You guys can see you both came across the answer. So whatever really theory and, or whatever really method makes more sense to you, try applying them. But just be aware that there are other ways to solve the problems or to approach it so just don't think there's only just one way. And if you get stuck, you might want to try looking at different methods. Yes? Are you going to have to do it again? I'll just look for your work and an answer. Right. OK?